Hi guys, so today I'm doing a review and swatches of the e.l.f. Mirror Lipsticks. You guys requested this video like crazy, so here it is. We're going to go ahead and talk about the product a little bit. I'm going to have all of the lipsticks out to swatch and show you guys what they look like. I will be using natural lighting. Um, it's my only option, so I'm sorry. It, I will do the best that I can to show you all the swatches and true to color shades. So let's go ahead and get started. So these lipsticks are from eyeslipface.com if you're not familiar with it, it's called e.l.f. I will leave their website link down below so you definitely check it out. And they come in this really pretty black square packaging, really cute container it comes in. It has their logo right here on the side and also on the top. So they just twist up like any normal lipstick and that is how much product you get. And the shade is located on the bottom. And this one I'm showing you right now is called Fairy Fuchsia. These come in 18 different shades, so there's a nice large selection of colors to choose from. So these are $5 each, which is very affordable. I think the price is just right. It's a little bit cheaper than even your drugstore a lipstick, so the price is amazing. I only paid $2.50 for mine because I always wait for e.l.f. to have a 50% off mineral sale. So you could definitely uh, keep your eye open on their website when they do have a good sale going on and you can save even more money, but definitely $5 for a lipstick is a really good price. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit more in the mineral side, a little bit natural. Uh, definitely check these out. They are fantastic. I love them. They're one of my favorite lipsticks. I grab these all the time. These also contain exotic oils, natural waxes, vitamins, and plant extracts. No preservatives, no parabens, and they also have no chemical dyes. So if you have sensitive skin and you're looking for a more natural mineral-based lipstick, these are definitely uh, for you and they're great to try out. These definitely last a long time. I don't ever notice any feathering or smudging. They last really well through eating and drinking. Now they don't claim obviously to be a super long wearing lipstick, but they definitely hold up very well. So one thing I have to mention with these lipsticks, and that a lot of people I think forget to mention, is that the colors, the colors in this collection are very muted. They're very toned down. They're not super bright. They're not, I mean, they are very pigmented, but a lot of the colors are very, very warm, deeper shades. There's a lot of brown tones in this collection of lipsticks. So just to show you an example, this is the e.l.f. Mineral and this is the e.l.f. Essential from their Essential line. This lipstick is only $1. This is in the color Flirtatious. And just to show you a difference, um, in the brightness and quality. These ones definitely are a lot long lasting than the dollar ones. And I will swatch this one for you. This is Fairy Fuchsia and Flirtatious. So you definitely see a very big difference in the color payoff that you could get. But they're both very pigmented. Okay guys, so we went ahead and talked about the lipsticks. Let's go ahead and jump right into the swatches. I'm gonna turn the camera around and do a better view so you guys can see them all up close. I'm gonna swatch them and talk about the colors and I hope you will enjoy. Okay guys, so I have all of the e.l.f. mineral lipsticks laid out for you guys and I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I have them all laid out. Now I have them all laid out how it is on the website. So when you go to the website and you see the selection and they have the different um, color blocks, this is how it is. I went ahead and did it that way so that maybe it's a little bit easier for you guys to um, pick things out if you're going to on the website. So we're going to start with the first shade here. This one is called Nicely Nude. And it definitely is what the name says. It's a very beautiful, nice nude shade. I wear this one a lot. As you can tell, it has been used. Sorry about that. And pretty much all of these lipsticks, if you're wondering, there's no metallic finish. There's not a whole lot of glitter. If there is, it's, it doesn't even really show up on your skin. So most of these, I would say, are just a nice natural finish. So here's a swatch of Nicely Nude. You can tell it's just a very nice muted pink color. Really great everyday color. I love this one and it's just really pretty. The next one here is called Pouty Petal. And this one is very similar to Nicely Nude. As you can tell, it's the same color, it's just a little bit darker. So here's a swatch of Pouty Petal, it is the top swatch. You can definitely tell it's a little bit darker than the first one, the Nicely Nude. Um, it's a little bit warmer, 
a little bit more pigmentation there and it's just a really nice nude. Moving on, this one is called Party Pink. So here's a swatch of Party Pink. You can definitely tell it's the darkest one of the three that we've done so far. And this one has a really nice pretty pink tone. It's definitely a warm pink color. It's just very, very pretty, really smooth. They're all very hydrating. And it's just a really nice overall, nice pink. The next one here is called Cool Coral. So Cool Coral definitely is a beautiful shade of coral and it's the only one in this collection that is coral. This is a beautiful golden coral color. So really great if you have a warmer skin tone. I wear it and I think it looks really nice on me as well. Um, but it definitely is a warm color. This is called Barely Bitten. So here's a swatch of Barely Bitten at the top here next to Cool Coral. It's definitely a very rosy, warm shade. A little bit of a red undertone to it. It's just a very nice, rosy, deep color. So the next one here is Rosy Raisin. And this one, as you can tell, out of this bottom row, this is the lightest shade, and this is more of a brown, neutral, nude color. Really great everyday one. It doesn't seem to wash you out as much because there's a little bit of brown pigment in there and a little bit of pink. So it's a really nice, balanced, everyday nude shade. So that is Rosy Raisin at the top there. The next one is called Bare Brown. So definitely from the name, you can tell this is definitely a brown lipstick color out of all the ones on that bottom row. This is definitely a brown lipstick. So if you have a really deep, um, anywhere from a medium to deep skin tone, this would be a really nice nude for you. Um, if you have a fair skin tone, it's a little bit more difficult for me to wear this one. And this one I can definitely say is a solid color. There's no shimmer in it. So here's a swatch of Bare Brown at the bottom here. And it's just a beautiful brown lipstick color. The next one is Fairy Fuchsia. Here's a swatch of Fairy Fuchsia right next to Bare Brown at the bottom. And you can definitely tell this is not like a super bright fuchsia color. So if you think this Fairy Fuchsia is going to be really bright, bright, bright pink, it's not. It definitely has a very, very warm undertone, almost like a brick red. And I really wouldn't even consider it fuchsia, but that is the name of the lipstick. So the last lipstick of the back row is this one right here, and this one is called Ripe Rose. So here's a swatch of Ripe Rose at the bottom here, and you can definitely tell compared to Fairy Fuchsia, it's definitely a little bit more warmer. Not as much pink in it. Fairy Fuchsia definitely has a little bit of pink in there. But this one has more of a reddish undertone. Alright, so we finished the back row. We're going to start with the front row now. So this first one here, we're going to start with Cheerful Cherry. This is a very dark, deep red shade. It's not very bright, but it's a beautiful, true to red shade. I think this would look good on any skin tone is just a fabulous color and there is a shimmer in here as you can see it's very beautiful and it it like i said with the rest of these lipsticks it doesn't show up very like ooh, i'm wearing a glitter lipstick <laughs> no it's very finely milled and it just gives a beautiful extra glowy shine so here's a swatch of cheerful cherry you can definitely see it's a beautiful deep red color it's just a beautiful red almost like a red raspberry. Moving on, this one here is called Royal Red. So Royal Red is a very different color compared to Cheerful Cherry. If you compare them side by side and also in the swatches in just a moment, you can see this one has a lot more red in it. It's a truer, redder shade. This one has more of a almost like a burnt brown plum color to it. It's really different. I wouldn't even consider this in the red family, so I'm confused by the name. But nonetheless, it's a beautiful color. So here's a swatch of Royal Red. You can see what I mean, though. It's more of a pl burnt plum color. Um, it's not really red, in my opinion. If you're looking for a red, I would definitely go with Cheerful Cherry instead of Royal Red. Next up, we have Prime Plum. 
So here is a swatch at the top of Prime Plum. It does not look like a plum color. It looks more like a brown lipstick, and it is. This is pretty similar to the bare brown that we showed earlier in the back row. You can see that these two look pretty similar except for this one here is a little bit darker. Next up we have Rustic Brick and Rustic Brick definitely is a very lovely warm brown shade kind of on the muddy side almost terracotta. It definitely has that rustic dirty brown color but it really is lovely on warmer skin tones and this one is called rosy tan this is another one of my favorites it's a beautiful brown and a little bit of pink in there it's the perfect balance so this is just compared this one to rosy raisin this is rosy raisin on this side and then this one is rosy tan so these two are very very similar I would definitely say they're almost identical. So here's a swatch of Rosy Tan. It's definitely a really nice uh, lighter brown nude shade. I really like wearing this one as well. I think it flatters many different skin tones. The next one here is the lightest shade out of the entire collection of lipsticks. And this one is Natural Nymph. Very, very close to being a concealer um, color but if you look very closely it has a hint of brown in it so it's not completely white it's not completely you know dull but this definitely on your lips looks extremely pale it can make you look kind of dead but it's a really great color if you want to just dab it on your lips and then put a gloss over top just to do a very neutral lip this is a fantastic color and you can also mix this one with other colors here that might be a little bit darker and you can kind of tone down the color. So this is a really great one to have in anyone's uh, makeup collection. So there's a swatch at the top there of Natural Nymph. You can tell it's not completely, like, it's not a white lipstick, but there's a little bit of brown undertone there, so it's not completely going to wash you out. This is by far my absolute favorite out of all of the ones here. And as you can tell, this has the most use out of it. I'm almost finished. Uh, this one is called Runway Pink, and I know this one is a very popular one. A lot of people love it, and it really is the perfect nudie pink color. So you can see it's just a beautiful color. There's no shimmer in here. It's just a beautiful baby pink. The next one here is called Rich Raspberry. And this one I love so much because it's a solid color. There's no shimmer in here. As you can see, it's just beautiful, smooth shiny lipstick. So here's a swatch of Rich Raspberry right next to Runway Pink right there. And this one, like I said, it's a beautiful Rich Raspberry color. Definitely has a purple undertone to it, so it's like a plummy purple. And last but not least, yes, we're on the last one. This one is called Beautiful Berry. And this one is actually pretty similar to uh, Prime Plum. So you put these two side by side. These are very similar um, in color, but definitely this has a little bit more plum to it than the one that is called Prime Plum. So here's a swatch of Beautiful Berry right there, the third one over in the bottom row. It is definitely a darker color compared to Rich Raspberry, but there is that little hint of purple in there. Alright guys, so that's it. That completes all the swatches and all of the e.l.f. mineral lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. As always, give a thumbs up to this video if you did enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. It is completely free. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye guys.